first of all, I was cracking up that everybody was dissecting every picture on my Instagram story, <laughs> including the outfit that I wore on my birthday, which was Thursday. And it was this long black dress. And everyone was like, she pulled her sleeves down so that you couldn't see her her fingers. Well, that's the way the dress is, guys. It sure. actually has thumb holes. No, it has sure. thumb holes. It has thumb holes. Mm -hmm. I did not get engaged on my birthday. Wow. So everybody hold, who was. Hold on. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Donnie, are you there? I am hurt. I bet a plate of nachos on this, Shannon. Oh, uh, that's all I was worth was a plate of nachos? <laughs> I'm very serious about my cheese and chips, lady. Wow. All right. I mean, so am I. You got to use the real cheese, not the gooey cheese. So oh, my goodness. Okay, you said you didn't get engaged on your birthday. I am Inspector Gadget. I was, sorry, not sorry, I screenshotted a couple pictures <laughs> on your story to see if I could zoom in. Yeah. But you are sneaky. You are hiding your left hand like nothing. I don't even know. I was sending stories to Megan, and I was like, she's hiding her hand. <laughs> Were you trolling so people by that point and doing it on purpose to drive people crazy because you know everybody back here was looking for signals? I did, but I did not get engaged on my birthday. Right. Okay. You said that so, statement already. So Waiting for the part where I so was So the right. next morning, this is Friday now, right? Wes wakes me up at 7 a.m. And I knew that we had a reservation at this, like, fancy, famous chocolate shop for breakfast, okay? And he said, I want to walk through. It's this place called Palais Royale beforehand, like, before it got really crowded. And if if you actually, if you watch Emily in Paris or if you know anything about Paris, Palais Royale is like this. It, it was an old palace, like, in the, you know, 17th century or whatever. So I got dressed. Um, I thought I looked really cute, threw on some Converse sneakers to go with my cute outfit. And he was like, no, no, no. I told you we're going to a fancy place. Oh, okay, got it. So I changed my shoes. <laughs> we grab a coffee from the hotel. He gets us um, a G7, which is like Uber in, in Europe. We get to this place, this Palais Royale, and it is dark outside. I mean, this is like the butt crack of dawn, okay? It's quiet. There aren't many people around. I look to my left, and I see a bunch of easels with some big white signs on them. But I couldn't make out the writing. We were kind of far away. And it was so very much like Wes to say, oh, we need to walk over there. It looks like an art installation or something. Let's go check it out because he is so curious like that. So we walk over and I see very quickly that all of the she's white not, She's holding up a sign, sign for everybody on Facebook Live. Everybody on Facebook that, Live is like, there's a thing no, that I'm... No, it's for you. It's for you. <laughs> okay. We all walk right. over and I see that all of the signs are love quotes. Okay. And okay. there's probably like eight of them. In, real and quick, one real of quick. Them, what, there's nothing on the wall that says song. Is it, am I supposed to just look up song? Oh, on the dirty wall? Yeah. Maybe it says Shan. Uh, I don't know. Hold on. Sam it's at the Smith, very bottom. Niall Horn, at the very bottom. I, Idina Menzel. Okay. There's nothing there. But let me do this. Okay. I will look up. Song. That's I okay. got Maybe it. Maybe I didn't drag this, it over. This is it. Here it is. Ready? Go ahead. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Keep going. So we walk over. I see all the quotes. One of them is one of my favorite quotes of all time. It's from Dr. Seuss. And it says, you know you're in love when you can't fall asleep because reality is finally better than your dreams. And at that point, it kind of hit me that this was not a random art installation in the middle of Paris. All of a sudden, a violinist comes out of nowhere and starts playing this song that I love, um, Make You Feel My Love. Not the Adele version, a very different this version. And I get to the last board, and it's four quotes, one from each of our kids. Wes had asked them before we left for permission. He had to be kind of sneaky about it with Lucy and Smith. And their responses were on that last easel. Wow. On that last billboard. And I'm going to read them to you. Oh, wow. Um, oh, this is amazing. By the way, his, can, I, can I real real quick before you get into the emotional thing? Yes. This is like love actually. Like you wanted the signs. I this mean, is the signs. The easels. <laughs> the easels. Yeah. I told you best um, pays attention. His daughter said... Because he's your soulmate. His son said, love is when your heart hurts, when someone is away from you. Smith said, forever? Yeah, I'm okay with forever. But can you get a house and have a room for me to play in? Just me. <laughs> and Lucy, in response, drew him a picture of me and him. And she made an acronym of Wes 
so W-E-S, that said, with good love, energetic, self-caring, describing him and all the things she loved about him. Wow. So we then walk down this long passageway, and Wes starts talking about the journey to finding me and loving me and how our relationship has progressed and his hopes for our future. And at one point, I will never forget this, he turned to me and he said, if you allow me, we're going to walk over to the gardens right there, and I'm going to get down on one knee. And the proposal part is very blurry. <laughs> I don't even know what I said. Um, there had been a photographer following us the entire time, and I was unaware. Um, so it was all very planned. He actually had a planner in Paris coordinate the whole thing. Wow, wow. that's unbelievable. I'm jamming. Show us the ring. I want to see the yeah. ring, for God's sake. Well, sakes. the ring box is almost as good as the ring because he had all the kids write their names. And they're all engraved on the, on box? the ring box. Wow. Oh, my God. Yeah. Wow. This is unbelievable. It felt really weird not to wear it in this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Show it to the wow. camera. Wow. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Look at that beautiful I ring. Make you happy. Make your yeah. dreams wow. Is this, wait, is this Wes singing this part right now? No. no. Oh, I was going to say, if you did that. I'm punching him right in the nose because he's too cute. The violinist followed us, followed us around the whole time. <laughs> Did he <laughs> so, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. By the way, Wes has made it impossible for any of the rest of us guys to ever do anything because he is, like, too perfect. This is yeah. beautiful. Thanks, Wes. It was, yeah. Mine's going to be a letdown for The coolest sure. thing I've ever been a part of. I, I still am in, in such wow. shock about it. Yeah. So he asked my dad for permission at Christmas. Uh-huh. So my dad knew, um, and his Wes's kids both knew. Um, and he said, though, the, like there were so many things leading up to it that he knew he was making the right decision yeah. because he was so worried about the location and he had all of these ideas for different locations. But I told you guys I binged Emily in Paris a few weeks ago and there was this one beautiful scene and I took a picture of my TV and I said, do you know where this is? I really want to go there when we go to Paris. And he had already planned on proposing to me right there. Wow. wow. Yeah. Aww. So, so. Uh, so Donnie, we were wrong. We were wrong. Uh, we thought- I know. I think. Like say the night after, I, I did. Right, I yeah. told you it wouldn't be on her birthday. <laughs> but it he would had be the next day. He had intel. He talks to Wes all the time. I did not have any intel. I don't talk to these guys any more than you do. Shannon. You're still you're still getting nachos, by the way. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get you. I'm gonna cry we're, now. We're gonna get you nachos. So to be fair, I think I was right because with the time change, if it was the next morning, it was <laughs> yeah. what I said, which was our time the night before. Well, it's and good. by the way, I don't know if you guys. Saw this. That ring box was on her tray with coffee that morning on her yes, Instagram. Was. I saw that the next day. It was? That's how. That was. The next day I saw that and I was like, ooh, I just want to bet. Yeah. Oh, because it was on there the, oh, the yes, next day's pictures. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. I didn't. Yeah. I, I didn't. zoomed in on it. I cropped it. I looked at that? it and I said, oh, their names are engraved on there. That's a ring box. One Did- person caught that and it was actually my babysitter, Pam. And she had no idea. Um, and then. <laughs> Afterwards, it kind of got fun because everybody was speculating. And so I was like, I'm dropping Easter eggs like Taylor Swift with this thing until <laughs> yeah. I get home. Um, but Wes actually messed up at one point and posted a picture of me with a bunch of shopping bags. Yep. And, and I see reposted it. it and you could see the ring. <laughs> Two, yeah. Listeners. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Two listeners Man. caught on to that yeah. and sent the pictures in our Facebook yeah. messages. They sent it to me and I was yeah. like, oh, no. Yeah, Did you not tell uh, um, social media because you wanted to come home and tell the kids? Because so, that was a yes. speculation. So, well, there were a few reasons that we didn't. We didn't announce it right away. We just wanted to enjoy it for a couple of days, mm. you know, by ourselves. I mean, we told our family and our close friends right after it happened. Um, and then I really wanted to make sure that the kids knew before everybody else Real. knew. Yeah. Like, that was really important yeah. to us. So we told them yesterday.